Hello and welcome to the Woodlane Weekly for April 8th, 2020. Uh, as you know, we are in a stay-at-home order here in Ohio, uh, and that stay-at-home order uh, was recently extended by uh, Dr. Amy Acton of the Ohio Department of Health and uh, Governor Mike DeWine. And uh, we certainly wanna do our part with participating in that stay-at-home order. So uh, it's basically an extension from the original order, but there are a few, uh, a few changes that I wanna go over with you. Uh, number one, the focus on essential travel. So uh, our governor is specifically asking that we only travel for essential needs. Those essential needs really are uh, medical appointments of necessity, uh, going to the grocery store or uh, the pharmacy to obtain medications or essential food items. Uh, but what we'd like to say is in the event that you, you need that, uh, it is possible that we could assist you with some of those essential food items. So uh, I know you're having uh, daily conversations with your SSA regarding uh, how things are going. Uh, that would be the perfect time to talk to them about what your needs are as uh, we do have an essential uh, item delivery process that's in place and we may be able to assist you therefore decreasing your need to go out into the community. Uh, and really we, we wanna decrease any of that, any exposure uh, to uh, the greater community because that will assist us in getting through this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so if you have any questions, please give us a call here at the board or talk to your SSAs on, on the daily basis. Uh, but what we are gonna ask is the cloth mask. So uh, in the event that you have any mask available to you, uh, we'd like you to do that. So anytime you are going out, we are asking you to utilize a cloth mask. Uh, that includes uh, our staff. So anyone who reports to work is expected to I have a cloth mask and, and they're expected to wear anytime they travel around our campus. But we're also asking all of you to do that anytime you travel outside of your home, uh, wear a mask. So I have with me today a cloth mask and uh, I keep it with me and it, it really works well. It uh, allows me to ensure that I am not uh, sharing any germs with my community members or my coworkers. So I'll certainly show you how to do that before this video is over. Uh, and then in addition to that, as we work through this pandemic, uh, we've also identified Angie Blake as our provider support liaison. And uh, she has been working very diligently along with her coworker, James Crawford, to communicate to all of our agency providers as well as our independent providers on uh, the best ways to uh, maximize their services throughout this pandemic, but also in a way to collaborate all of our HPC providers uh, to really assist each other as well as us to get through this. And so if you are a provider and you have any questions regarding uh, the roles and responsibilities at this time, please give Angie Blake uh, here, uh, at the board a call. Uh, and then finally this week, uh, I want to talk about Engage Woodlane. So Engage Woodlane is a uh, private Facebook page that is for anyone who receives our services or is really connected to us here at the Wood County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Uh, it's really become the, the number one social media location for us to stay connected uh, and kind of have daily interactions. So uh, we uh, certainly want to invite you to uh, reach out to Engage Woodlane, uh, join the uh, private Facebook group and kind of uh, really enjoy uh, the ability to connect with one another. Uh, and again, uh, if you go out, wear your mask. Uh, so we want everyone to look like this. Yes, it does impact the, the conversation just a little, but it does work and it will protect you. Uh, I wanna thank you for joining. We'll see you next week.